Well, thank you. Good evening and welcome to Monday's Look North on the programme tonight. An iconic building which may be coming back to life. Work to redevelop the former Terry's chocolate factory in York could begin later this year. We'll be getting more details from the developers about how they plan to revive a site which has been derelict for eight years. Also tonight, cracking down on cable theft. Find out why scenes like this are becoming much rarer right across Yorkshire. And the artist making waves with a floating sculpture that's been nicknamed Nessie. Bright and breezy today at Fairburn Ings, but what's the rest of the week looking like? Join me later to find out. Thank you for joining us. First tonight, new hope that the future of one of York's best-known landmarks will finally be secured. The historic Terry's Chocolate Factory site has been empty since it closed in 2005. But now it's been bought by developers Henry Boot and David Wilson Homes and work could begin later this year on a major redevelopment scheme. Our reporter Ian White joins us now from the Terry's site. Ian, over to you. Good evening, Charlotte. Well, it was 2005 when chocolate was last made here at the Terry's factory in York. Since then, time has rather stood still, as you can see on the clock face there of the iconic tower here. Below it, just look at those windows. They really do show just how derelict and uh, decrepit this building has become. And, you know, they really do really want this place to uh, start bustling again. So good news this morning was announced that uh, this 27-acre site has, in fact, been sold to two developers. Here's a bit of a potted history for you. In its heyday, the Terry's Chocolate Factory in York employed thousands of people and was so important to the local economy, it was a destination for royalty. But since 2005, the 27-acre site has stood derelict. The factory was closed after Terry's was bought by Kraft Foods and the site was later bought by developers Grantside. After failing to get planning permission, the site was then put up for sale again. Now, City of York Councils finally struck a deal with two leading UK property companies, Henry Boot Developments and York-based David Wilson Homes. It'll see the site transformed with hundreds of new homes, shops, hotels and a business park being created. Developers are remaining tight-lipped about how much they've bought the old chocolate factory site for, but the council says a landmark deal has been struck. The regeneration of the area, which neighbours York Racecourse, will cost £75 million. It's hoped construction work could start later this year. Well, while we've been waiting to go on air, you know, I've spent some time looking at this building that really is a fantastic site and uh, a real bit of history here. Let's talk to Peter Morris, who's from David Wilson Homes. Uh, Peter, why did you want to be involved in this? Why have you put the money forward for this? Uh, well, we're a, although we're a national organisation, we've had a divisional office in York for a number of years now, and uh, I think along with the rest of our, my colleagues, we recognise this is an iconic site in York and it's a fantastic site, particularly with its proximity to the race course, um, that it's, it will be ideal for, for, for development and indeed for residential development. And, and we're looking forward to, to producing, a, hopefully, a, a fantastic scheme. Now, are these homes for the elite or will they be for you and me? It'll be, for, it'll be across, the, across the piece. So we've, we're going to develop two bed up to five bed houses on here. Um, there'll be apartments, um, there'll be terraced houses, there'll be townhouses and there'll be detached dwellings as well. OK, thank you very much. James Alexander, the leader of the City of York Council. This sounds like good news for York, but will it really happen? We've been here before, haven't we? It's very good news and it will happen. It is real. And this shows a real confidence in our economy. It shows York is the number one place in Yorkshire to be able to invest. This is about homes, it's about jobs and it's also about our heritage. And it's really, really good news for us. Now, people living nearby are bound to say it, aren't they? You know, the area is already congested. Can it cope with more homes here? Well, we'll be working with developers. We'll be working through planning to look at sustainable forms of transport and other methods. But there has to be some give and take. We have to be flexible. We want the homes in York. People in York desperately need homes. And this is a good start. Now, you know fine well that the people who vote for you will actually want to see some action here. They won't believe it until they actually see the cranes and diggers on site. They won't. There's a cynical lot out there, very cynical. But I can guarantee you this is going ahead, this is going to happen, and it just shows uh, a, a page turned over in our economy and it shows the real commitment that there is in our growing economy and our jobs. And, Peter, we talked about the homes. What else is going to be here? Uh, well, our partners, development partners, Henry Boot, um, will be looking at the commercial aspect, which is very much in the existing buildings um, and retail, so they'll be doing their investigations in that regard. 
Well, I'll tell you one thing. It does sound exciting. We will, of course, be keeping an eye on this to make sure this does happen. And we'll be back here asking questions if it doesn't. So a guarantee? <laughs> it will happen. Great. Indeed, yes. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. We can't guarantee that the weather will always be as glorious as this, though. Back to you.